straighten them up because the day we came back from the grocery store we just wanted to get because we had some everywhere and like i said that whole corner <laughs> look did nothing in this corner i got stuff that's on that shelf right there that i got to get put up that don't go there only mama christmas stuff there but that's how i see I got to get the rest of my forks put up there, my plates, I got to get my paper towel moved over so I can get my other plates and cups up there. But it'll get done, like I said. Can you pass me those pineapples? Don't play with me. You know what pineapples I want. You said pineapple. It's pineapple in the refrigerator open already. Then we read. She said pineapples, so it go pineapples. But then yours, you bought those. I didn't buy these. You did? No, I did. You bought them. They came in that box. I didn't buy these. Why are you in your feeling? Cause it you... hurt right here? No, this going to hurt when I pop inside your head. You have a knot inside your noggin. What? what? Let it go. <laughs> Quit playing. Go now. Let's go. I'm going to freeze right back in the cold. Because they only got three pineapples left, and I'm going to eat them for lunch today. I did this to him one day. He turned around and walked right out the kitchen. <laughs> I didn't care. I laughed. He had to come back in. He was like, I don't like you. And then he say, I don't like you. You make me sick. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> <coughs> And then he get mad at me because I mess with his food. He be in here cooking like this. And he'll be sitting down and I'll come do this. He be like, ah, leave my food alone. So I do it on purpose now. And Ma, you fried? Ma, you fried? Hmm? Ma, you fried? You ain't think nobody over What's wrong with her? Why didn't you tell me to pick up a bag? I told you the other day when I saw him, I ate half a bag. Well, why you ain't tell me to pick up a pack of wood in the store? I told you, you run in with Dixie, they don't take it with Dixie. Oh, that's right. But you don't like going with Dixie. I don't mind going on with Dixie. I didn't say that. We went yesterday and got ice cream. You forgot? Wet me with the water hose. It's cold outside. He better be glad I'm hungry and don't feel like fighting him. Cause I, boy, shut up. Eat your feet. <laughs> Do y'all joke with y'all husband? Do you think y'all husband have a joking relationship like me and mine? <laughs> See. 
it be when black people play too much. I be hiding this food on the cabinets. Oh yeah, I'll leave it. Where, 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 where my food at? I done put it on the cabinet. I been and hid his food. Hold on, y'all. I done been and hid baby food all over the place. I put his fries right there. Y'all see? Really? I am not going to let go of this house. I told him. That petty. I'm petty betty. I told him don't play with me. You leave me alone. I'll leave you alone. But he messed with me. So I got messed back with him. So I'm going to sit here and eat. And talk to my mama and watch the Christmas movies. I bet your mama say she ain't finna come in here and bother me. Look at her. What you wait, mama? Criminal week. Mama sitting there chilling, watching criminal movies. What you gonna watch when criminal movies go off? She said she don't know. I guess she just be back to regular old Hallmark. Her and mama eat. All right, let me go say my grace and eat. I'll be back. Thank you. Oh. Are you gonna help me? Yeah. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. First, I gotta get these clothes out there. Say hello. Good morning. Good yeah. afternoon. First, I need to put these clothes out right there. Mama wanted me to make some candy. So, I was like, we sitting up here watching YouTube. I said, I act like I ain't got nothing to do. Okay. And I do. Hi. I gotta make my chocolate candy. I gotta make her something else. Look, you wanna put this in this Yeah. Yeah. What I need you to do is here. Go over there on that side. Here, take this. And I need you to wash your hands and dry them real good. Yeah. Wash your hands. And then after you wash and dry your hands real good. Touch that book. Turn to the wall. I did. I didn't say raise this up. I'm talking about that. Dude. Oh no, I didn't do that. But well, I, I turned to the wall. I Why would there. you turn it to the wall and you knew I was recording to, to be petty? <laughs> but tip for tat. That's my favorite. When I turned my back, you put my food way over here. So I right, when she turned her back, she paid to the camera. Okay. Petty. It's okay. This war, not that. You always do that to me, though. You admit it on But I never early. turn your camera. I don't never mess with your camera when you record, because this is our money. But since you want to mess with my I'm money, sorry don't worry about it. I apologize. It. You ain't do nothing, but you ain't do nothing from having me go viral. Because, like Stunner said, what he, uh, situation and scenario. Very we finna start being petty. Yes, you, no, I don't want to hug it out. You started yeah, this. I'm on but you always do it to me, though, with food and everything else. What do I do to you other than move your food? My I don't do that now. Phone. What do I move your drinks? Phone. If I turn my back one second, bam, you got me. When I do that? You, do you ain't got no proof on you camera. You admitted it earlier on camera. I don't know. Actually, pops it up. Okay, y'all. Now I'm good. I got it. It's like using the magazine. There you go. Store. Yeah, you always get you admitted to earth. But I get you by moving your food. Okay, I apologize. It's okay. 
we just started war. Now, trust me, this war we're going for at least like a week and a half. And then it'll, it'll, it'll go on for longer if you do it more. Yep. We had a hit week. Whenever she used to scare me for a whole week. You gonna edit it out. I'm not editing this out. I told you I'm not editing this out. I'm telling you, you turn the camera, you're gonna edit that out. No, I'm not. I'm gonna I'm going back to my old school vlog, my day one A ones. When y'all seen long videos and we didn't edit nothing. You gonna get everything—the crazy, the good, the bad, the wrong. You play with me. You know how TikTok be talking about married couples petty. We've been petty since before we got married. We've been petty. Then hug it out. I'm sorry. I don't want to hug it out. Okay, come on. Let's hug it out. I didn't have to worry about it. Okay. Since the camera witnessed it, the camera got to witness the hug. Yeah. Difference oh. between me and your pops. Come on. Oh, I need a hug. You thinking about it, huh? Come on. Smell just like them wearing. You have that same job. Come on. He has the same. I got slippers. Yeah, that's why I'm not talking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. <coughs> he smells like raggedy old fish. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to hug her. I want to go under. I want to under her. Because he's going to try to take her. Come on. So hurry and Come on. Stop by store or online. What did she do? He don't understand. This holiday. Whatever you are. Well, I'm telling you. Okay, we got it. Put that up. You got all three. You think a fort can go in there? Yeah. No. Yeah. Where? Where? Y'all probably if you smashed it up or if you did what? I don't know. I got a good with Joe. Well, tell him I'm here. Come in, Joy. I'm about to go. I'm about to go. You're about to go what? You're about to go what? Well, before you go, Eddie, I need you and your son. Bob, he was going to move. I need you to put me some sugar there. He's a grown man right there. Like you said, he's the man of the house. That's right. That little small thing. No, there's a heck of a lot of sugar in those. This gonna go with here. Man, I I, I go to Walmart. There'd be a heck of a lot of sugar in those. Okay, this gonna go in here. But I need you to pull it over the side. Yeah, I'm the man in the house. Nothing hurts. Please don't steal this. And then the big one, I need you to open. Never mind, I do this because I can already tell you. I know. It looks like a book. And look, and big. Clever. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, hey. But before I feel like I'm the man in the house, I'm like, you're the waiver. So thank you. 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 When I tell y'all this candy is super easy to make, I'm not doing a whole separate video because I have a pecan candy video. I have a microwavable one. I have a quick one on top of the stove. And then I have the old school pecan or praline candy, whichever you prefer to call it. So I have three on this channel. If I can find it, I will link it. But, well, I can't find it. If I remember, I will link it. But I have three. My mom is just <laughs> okay. She just um, Okay, I am. I forget. Before you saying this thing, I'm only eleven. I forget. Not twelve. The traditional candy that normally takes an hour or maybe a little bit over is on the stove, and it's the regular evaporated milk. Or if you don't have it, what they call pet milk or however. If you don't have it, you can use regular milk. But that's your traditional 
way of making it. Then you can get heavy cream and make it within 30 minutes on the stove. But if you're using a microwave, you need the sweetened condensed milk. And I'm going to tell you all this, but it's going to be somebody in the comment section that's going to ask this question. Because every video that I have done, I said it, I even wrote it in the description box in the ingredients list. But somebody always asks, no, you don't want to so, You can use any brand. During the holidays, I, I like to use the Eagle brand by Borden. Because it's my preference. But I use the Walmart. I use the store brand all the time. It does taste a little bit different, but it does not taste that much different. Okay? So what do we do first? Okay. Before you ask that question, because I'm trying to give them all the stuff so they'll know so they won't ask. Wait, okay. can't you just like, do it in the comment section? Huh? Can't you just do it But in then the I got to answer section? all them comments, child. I got a lot going on right now. So I'm saying it so I don't have to. Yeah, but then I was like, that's just a way. You want to do this vlog? Sure. Sure, yeah. I want to be famous. Ooh. I mean, I kind of am, but. Yeah, okay. I go to school. Yes, you do. Okay. I should be treated right. You, you treat it right. <laughs> so, no, no. <laughs> for one can, and this is the, what that say right there? 14 ounces? Did you know I can't see? Yeah, for, wait, no, yeah, yeah. wait. Hey, you wait. can't see. I'm no, I can. You. It's your finger. You 14 ounces, 396 grams. Okay. So for a 14 ounce can, we'll make one batch of candy. Mm -hmm. Okay. One batch? Yeah. That's a lot. Sometimes I make two batches. And that makes a lot of candy. It makes a lot. We still have some. We still have candy from mom. Uh-huh. I don't care, but I'm going to make two batches because it's easier for me, for my household. Because if I make one batch, that candy going to be gone before I start on the next batch. Nah, that candy going to be gone before next, tomorrow. And my mama wanted it. My mama asked me specifically to make her a vanilla batch, a chocolate batch without nuts because y'all know she can't eat. And then I'm going to make a batch, a chocolate and a vanilla batch with walnuts because yes. I've had some with peanuts. I mean, not peanuts. I've had some with pecans and I did those for Thanksgiving. But for Christmas, I want me some with walnuts. Yay. You can make this candy with coconut chips. You can get, um, let's see. I've only made it three different ways. With pecans, without pecans. Well, with pecans, without pecans, with coconut, with walnuts and with um, but when I said pecans, peanuts? I don't know. I never did peanuts, but I guess you could because they they got. What we was watching Miss Lena did um, that brick. What you call it, Mama? Pecan bark. No, peanut bark. Peanut bark. But like I said, I've made it with pecans, without with walnuts, and with coconut. Those are the ways I made it. So. But my particular recipe for two batches, if you're doing one batch, it's one can, <coughs> a half a stick <coughs> of sweetened, and he's covering his mouth, half a stick of sweet cream butter. Salted or unsalted, doesn't matter. But you use half a stick, one can, yeah, a cup of either, yeah, cut that in half for me, please. A cup of either white or brown sugar. I prefer to use brown sugar because it gives you more of that richness to the taste. But if you want white sugar, the granulated white sugar is perfect. For the chocolate, and then I need vanilla and some salt. But I'm going to go through all of it. For my mama chocolate candy, I'm going to do the next quick. Because I'm adding this at the end when I add my vanilla. You can do the Hershey unsweetened chocolate. And I have done that. But I find when I make it with the Hershey's cocoa, whether sweetened or unsweetened. So just cut it like in half, right in half. This one is the unsweetened. Mm -hmm. When I make it with this, it's, it, the candy comes out a little bit darker. And I don't want my candy to be that much darker. So I prefer to use the next quick. I do not like to spray my pan with Baker's Joy when I'm making my candy. I love Baker's Joy. I love it. But I don't like to use it. I use it with my cake, but I don't use it with my pecan candy. All done. Thank you. You're welcome. With my pecan candy, I like to use regular butter. I'll just cook me some butter on a napkin, spread it on my pan. Y'all will see me do that too. 
This is the Watkins Bacon Vanilla. Y'all know during the holiday, I get this. <laughs> if I'm just doing a quick little video and sharing it, I would tell you guys, use imitation vanilla. So how much does it cost now? I don't know. That one just costs a little bit more than I don't want you to break your nose. That's why. Thank I'm... you. You're so sweet. Especially, I don't have a nose. Mm. That's good. You don't have to take it off. All right. Now we let me blow y'all down soon so y'all can see. Just give me a regular spoon, please. Right. I'm going to give you a special one. And my bowl is clean and completely dry because you do not want Second batch. water in your bowl. <laughs> so make sure you wash it and completely dry it. Like I said, I got this recipe on the channel. But I'm just cooking it today, so I'm vlogging with y'all today. And it may be people that's new. That never made a corn candy or pretty candy, and they may want some. And they may not want to be digging through videos. So they watch the video. You can um, make it some. And especially I'm in here, since I, so I can put my game in the living room. Because my TV's kind of small. Yeah. I might end up, I might get my TV to put some job. I don't know. Because, like, my TV, yeah, it, it works right now. There's nothing in the Pull is walking in the whole walk. Brother! Now. Like I said, I'm doing a double batch. What I would suggest, if you're making it for the first time, just do one single batch. Because if you do mess it up, you're not wasting a lot of money. Hey, Look at my face. Oh, my baby Shay! For the first time in four years. Oh, my baby Shay, to his face. You smell? Oh, come back. Come back here. He looks like a baby. You smell like shrimp. I don't know. No, you smell like cooked, like sweet shrimp. He smell like that cafe food, that coffee, because he worked at that coffee. What you is need that some called? more? Batista shop? You need more. Batista? 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 Barista? Barista. No, I don't need, I don't need that. No, mama, I don't work at Batista shop. <laughs> Barista. Barista. Okay, throw them two away. I don't need this shit. Oh, uh, well, I open them just in case. Okay. What else was cut? So I got. I'm making my I'm making some kinks. I got both um I got both of my jars in here. I'm gonna use some salt. You wanna put the salt in? Yeah, my hands are clean. I like I'm to gonna, I gotta put seeds up. I don't want the dirty little shake. I like to just pour the salt. And it ain't a lot, so you're gonna see. This is not even a half a teaspoon. I'm just shaking some in his hand. Show the camera. It's not that much. But yeah, it's just like it's not even a half a teaspoon. Put it in here. What and that's a, that's all you need. That's that's it. And all they don't complain in your face, please. Okay. Since I'm doing two cans, I'm doing a whole stick of butter. But once more, if I was doing one can, I would do half a stick. And this one is the unsalted cream, sweet cream butter. If I was using the salted, I would not add salt at all. But still, all you need is a little bit. I got my cream in here. I got the salt. I got the butter. Now I'm going in with my sugar. As for it, my thing is clean because I just washed all this. Now as far as the sugar, like I said, there's a boy standing on the counter. On what? On the TV. Do I like my hat? I don't know why I put a hat on. All right. I just put it on the hat. Can I pour it now? This is one cup of brown sugar. If I was doing one can, yes, I would do one cup. Well, I'd be like, this, and but since I'm doing two cans, I need two cups. So you just double everything. So double everything. And I do pack it. And like I said, you can use granulated white sugar. I'm just using brown. Made the white. The, the white. Oh, okay. Great. 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 All right, Deontay, I need you to get. I mean, Philip, I need you to wipe my countertop down for me, please. Now, with the wooden spoon. I'm going to talk to my phone. Now, now, this is what I do. You can choose to do this with your metal spoon, but I just prefer to do this step with my wooden spoon. Because I don't, I try not to waste any product. 
Some people say stir it because this is the microwave method. Some people say stir it. Some people say don't stir it. It's up to you. I stir mine. I don't want you I just mean. stir mine. Only because I don't want the chunks of sugar to like almost crystallize. Because yes, they will melt, but sometimes brown sugar will be stubborn and it won't. So I like to stir mine. Yes. But I don't stir it that long. I stir it for a couple of seconds and that's it. I'm just putting the sugar back, the brown sugar back. I mean, not the chocolate back. All right, that's easy. Now, you just, that way, I, since I got this little brown spatula, I can just scrape this out. Yeah, because this going to go down. I want to make some hot chocolate too. Yeah, I'll make some in there. Watch a Christmas. I'm going to use the TV now. I can't believe Christmas is coming up already. But in six days. Just take this for me and wash it and dry it, please. Now I'm just going to pop this in the microwave. It depends on your microwave. My microwave is 1,000 watts. I got a microsafe bowl. I'm gonna do you do three and a half to four minutes. I'm gonna do my first one on four minutes because that's what I always do. Four minutes. But you can do three and a half. If you know your microwave gets super, super hot, hey, do three and a half. Yeah, it do, but not at first. Not when you first start cooking. Now, I'm gonna get me a little butter. Give me a napkin, please. Nothing. And I'm just gonna butter my pan. You yeah. know. Now, if oh, all I needed was one little piece. That's all. Now, if that's all we have left, I'm just gonna take my butter. My napkin, old school, spread it on the pan. Now, is it time that if I just have a little butter left on that thing and it's just a pat of butter in the thing, I would just use it out that plastic pack and just do it. But I need that butter to make the remainder of my candy. So I don't want to do that, so I'm just using a napkin. But other than that, do I usually go in with the little stick thing if it's just a little butter? Yep. Just like we used to do with our mom's. Do we have a spray thing? spray what? Yeah, we got spray butter in the refrigerator, but I don't like to use that spray butter when I make a candy. Wait, why don't I just use that one though? Because I'll just make the. Well, John told you when you make me grilled cheese, you can use that spray butter, didn't he? I I I don't. Know. I made one. Yeah. That didn't finish it. Uh, yeah, that spray butter is in the bottom of the refrigerator. Done. Okay. All right, go this way. I can't wait until I get the butter myself. And that's it. My pan is buttered. Good enough. I still got my vanilla sitting here because that's going to go in last. All right. I got to get Joy. Well, I don't get the outside. Who knows? It don't matter. I get them to get me some paper towel down. Hello. Thank you. I'll give it hard to Tell you this child will hug y'all day. Hello. I look like a rapper. Well no, my face is in the ass. Hello. Alright, y'all, we back. I had to go get out my hoodie. And throw on my little cotton. I'll get it. You might be happy. It's not. I'll get it. I don't want you burning yourself on my camera. I already burnt myself so well, much. Well, not on my camera. I already burnt myself so much in my last year. Let me show y'all how it looks. So just so y'all Look at my arms. This is about how it looks. It's just y'all how y'all was to expect. The butter and sugar and cream. So I'm just going to stir it. Stir it. So I'm gonna stir this for about. I'll stir it. 
Crunch in my mouth, fella. But she in there. Mama, are you so wild? I'm going to start this. I'm going to start this for about 45 seconds or so. What's she say? She said she's so watching. Well, when she finished watching, you can watch TV. She probably looking, she looking at me later. Yeah. Each time you serve, you just get air in. That's all. Yeah. I'm gonna go lay down before my back starts hurting. Okay, well you back. you help me a little bit. I'll be back. I'm just gonna lay down. I I know some. That smells so good. He did. He helped me out a little, so I'm happy. I ain't gonna so complain. Gonna so. I ain't gonna so complain. Anytime I can get them in the kitchen for at least forty minutes, I'm good. All right. Like I said, it's gonna go back in here. Wait three and a half minutes. You still recording? Yeah, I'm trying to go on Facebook. Oh, I can't say it. Oh, Lord. Well, I mean, I can. It's nothing is pushing, but it's funny. Oh, Lord. What happened? Well, okay, so after I got off of work yesterday, Nick came and picked me up. He said, I just gotta go to Walmart and I'll bring you to Carl and Christian house. I'll go hang out with him for a couple hours. So after I did that, he called me and said, we got to go pick up a couch. I said, who's we? Because you didn't tell me none of this. He said, well, you always help me with stuff anyway. I feel like you wouldn't mind. Of course, I don't mind, but it would have been nice to tell him. So I've been at work since 6 o'clock this morning, and you was off today. So me being the, you know, lovely friend that I am, lovely also known friend. as fool. Lovely friend. Uh-huh. I helped him. He neglected to tell me that the couch was of the woman's. Of his mother, mother in law, who just passed away. So basically, we went to a dead woman's house to go pick up her couch and television. Nick's mama's mother in law. We went to go pick up her couch and TV. Oh, Nick's my mother in law. Yep, so we went to go. I said, So we really at a dead woman's house bringing her couch to your mama's house and you taking the TV? He said, Yeah, what's wrong well, with wouldn't that? Wouldn't that be Nick's grandma? I guess it would be, but it doesn't change the fact that, that I've been at work since 5.30, and now I'm at a dead woman's house picking up her couch. Well, you didn't know his No, you said Nick's mom. I knew, I knew she passed, but I did not so know So that'll be house. Nick's daddy's mom. Yes, but I didn't um, know we were picking up her couch. But well, where she live? It's somewhere in Long Beach. And then we walked in the house. Ain't nothing in there. Ain't nothing but the couch, the TV, like eight remotes, a DVD player, eight an entertainment stand, and, yeah, TV? and a TV stand. And Nick said, I'll come back for the TV. I went, will you not say that? Like, we stealing stuff. Well, well, who took the rest of the stuff that was in her house? Probably the other family. I guess. So that's what they left her, the couch. I, and I said, well, where are we bringing it? Mom's house. We've been dead for about three weeks. Yeah. And you just going to put the couch in. Okay, bye. And then we brought the couch over there. Put it in the living room. And then I took the child and went to bed and prayed. Well, what other couch at? Oh, we, oh, we had to move that. It just sitting outside now. I said, y'all ain't going, you don't need it. He went, no, oh, I'm taking the TV. I don't need the couch. And then he looked at me and laughed like something funny. I went, well, what do I get out of this? Well, you got a couch. It's at your apartment. That's not my couch. That's her couch. I can't put it in my room. And then he said, Well, did you want the couch in your room? No, but that don't change the fact that I've had to do this since I've been at work since 5.30 in the morning. And I literally did not take a break between them. So all I got to do was help him out. And he said, well, I was going to pay you. I said, Nick, I ain't never asked you to pay me nothing. And then he go out there and say, I'll buy you some chicken wings. Oh, Lord. These are the walnuts I got when I get ready to do mine. If y'all remember, I had got these from Clay going here. Um, oh, I got a bottle of spray instead of a little thing. A what? A bottle of spray. Instead of a little thing. Yeah, like a bottle. You're not opening them yet. You gotta finish those. Oh. And that don't mean just hurry up and finish oh, them to open them. Because he wouldn't have heard that. He would have finished. Okay, they done. Can I have one now? No. Oh, I know you would. But that ain't what that means. All right, now I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like this go around. And that's why I say be careful because this is hot candy. 
Oh, Jordan's. Mm -hmm. Dry the way because my kids are washing. They won't dry stuff all the way. So I guess I'm gonna make me some roast. Do I? You told me to take some roast. Oh, he told you to get you some roast and take it home. Good night, Michelle. I know Jordan. He, I said, oh, baby, that was nice of you. What? I ain't what I said. So I'm gonna stir it again, y'all. For a few minutes, well, not even a few minutes, a few seconds. Why? I'm just kidding that you made it. Yeah, but I'm not editing my video. I'm just saying. I'm just I mean, I know I can't edit, but I ain't editing that now. Honestly, what I would do, I would edit and put another video, and then at the end of the month, I would put an uncensored part of the video so everybody can laugh. What? People love to see people like that. Yes, they do. And our family act enough of uh, 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 they going to see that around Christmas. Sure. That whole video going to be unedited. And they really going to see. They not going to see the Alicia Southern crew, how we ha how we hang out for Christmas. They going to see the how we really hang out, like back in the day. Y'all remember them back in the day video when my kids was out here talking about each other, janking on each other? I hate you. You made me speak. You mama favorite. I wonder you, who says that. You were born in you were born and mama picked you up out the garbage can. Y'all know all kids say that to each other, right? First of all, I have never ever told them that they adopted. No, you haven't. They have. I'm not mean to I, let me know. I'm not mean to them, so they mean to me first. I have said some ugly things before. I think going a lot. Yeah, because Philip never said that. They done told Philip that many a time. That's why you adopted. And mama got you out the garbage can. I have told Leontay, I hope you choke on the next, I hope you choke on your lips because they're so crusty. And I have told Julia, you know what? I hope Greg make the food and I hope it fall on the ground. And I have told Alicia, you know what? If you fall Why'd you the, get you a to-go bag? There's nothing in this. They over there. I told Alicia, if you fall in the snow, I hope nobody finds you. No, son. Look at me. It's right here. Yeah, it's over there in the corner. They go to to go play. I said some mean things, but there's nothing I could take. Yeah, my my. But you know they love each other because if somebody else talk about them, they going out. Now this last time, you gotta constantly watch it because that candy gonna bubble up and you do not want to mess in your mouth. I mean, I, out of all your children, I'm probably the nicest. Probably. You know, matter of fact, no, I am the nicest one. I hate you. Oh, your children, I am the nicest, kindest one. Because Allegiance is kind of mean sometimes. Talia can be really rough. Philip is mean when he's hungry, and Riante is mean when she get off work. I'm nice as long as I eat. Since I always eat, I always nice. Like. Well, I don't know. I'm not nice. I'm not nice. I'm See, you know how like when you're making oatmeal and that oatmeal bubble up to the top and you gotta open it? Yeah. It's almost done, y'all. All right, y'all. Why still have Deontay took his food out? All right, I am done with all of the walnuts. I got my walnuts all mixed up. Gonna, and because it's going to be tighter, because I do have the walnuts in here, uh, you guys, well, I don't know if y'all was able to see it, but it did smear out perfectly on the pan. This one, of course, has walnuts in, so it's going to be a little bit tighter. If you don't eat walnuts, put the honey. If you don't eat pecans, you can use coconuts. Hello. Um, if you don't like coconuts, you can use... Uh, I'm not, I never done peanuts. My washing machine's spinning. <laughs> if you don't uh -uh, want any kind of nuts in it, because if you have a nut allergy, just make regular candy. If you don't like carrots to have a chocolate base, just don't add the chocolate. It's really simple. <laughs> and then tomorrow morning, like I said, I'm going to get up in this kitchen, and I have to make a regular vanilla and one vanilla with walnuts. 
I'm not doing any cocoons at all. Um, just because, like I said, I already did the cocoons for Christmas. And I just didn't want to. Mom was just sitting over there. And mama, um, mama's just sitting next to me. I have the window open. Oh. It's cold, it's freezing outside, but I got the window open just so the kitchen can cool. Because if you, one thing about baking, if you are in here and you're making candy especially, it's the if your house is already too hot, that candy is not going to sit. I do not care how much of a good baking you are. If you're making candy, and your kitchen is too, too hot, it's not going to sit right. Um, it'll take better. Every last scoop? Uh, Every last scoop? Why your mama? She likes to eat the, uh, oh, yeah. you know your mama likes to eat the, the candy off. Eat the what? She likes to eat the candy off the spoon. You want to eat the candy off the spoon? I'm not eating at the smooth. She wants some? Boy, if you want to put it in your mouth, put it in your mouth. <laughs> okay, but let me pop it in one time. Let me just look at it. Jordan likes to eat it off the spoon now. And he ain't never used to do that. Now he do. I just like to lick it. It's good. It's good. I was on both of them. That's good. But I'm done with my candies for today. I'm going to show y'all how this looks. With the non and when it cool off, I'm going to break it. Put it in my little Christmas container. Homeboy done got his sweets for today. Don't you like it? Yeah. They contain this. Yeah. Let me give me a thumbnail. All right, now the washing machine is spinning because it's about to stop. But I'm about to put this candy up. Try to turn you out. All right, y'all. Excuse my washing machine because it's spinning, but it's about to stop. But I'm about to go in and cut my candy. It has cooled down enough. I said before, you definitely have a choice of dropping it. Like you just getting a spoon and dropping it. But it's easier for me. To just place mine on a baking, um, a cutting sheet, a cookie sheet, <laughs> and then just go ahead on and cutting it. I let it cool only a little. I don't let it cool completely because I like to cut my candies when it's still warm, but not like boiling hot to where you're gonna burn yourself and gotta be in somebody's house feeling. But I like this for it to still have warmness and softness to it. So when I cut it, it'll sit the way that I want it to sit. Now that's me. If you want to wait till it completely cool, by all means, go ahead. That's why you see a lot of people when they make candy, pralines, whatever you want to call it, for corn candy, they'll drop it at a round stage so it can form. Like I said, for me and my family, I like to drop it whole and then go in and cut it and let it cool as while it's cut. That's how I was taught to do it, so that's how I do it. And then also, I'll just get, since I didn't have a spoon nearby, I still take the rest of the candy and just drop it. Because everybody likes the crumbles of candy. And I'm going to make one more batch of this, but it's going to be the um, vanilla one. And I know this don't look as chocolatey because I didn't put that much chocolate. I can add more chocolate next time. It just depends, but this is how I wanted it to be, this color. And if I don't start baking and getting some of this stuff done tomorrow, I know y'all like, girl, where you wear these little shocks? To sleep. <laughs> to sleep. I 
don't know why people be thinking I'm a, I'm some kind of uh grandma acting lady or something. I may come on camera and I may come across and some people like, mm, she ain't like she a grandma child. <laughs> Don't let it fool you. I am very appropriate. I'm always going to be, what they say, I'm a lady on, on I'm always going to be a lady in the streets and on the camera, okay? But you know, I'm a grown woman. I'm what they say? What? Lady in the streets and on camera. Mm. You, you know these back in the ground, they still kind of down. These. Mm. These still kind of damp too. I had them go twice too. I don't know why they. It's just those. Two. What they said, lady in the street with a freaking. Mm, well, I'm a. I am a lady. You're a virtuous woman. Yep, yeah, I'm a very virtuous woman. I'm an all-around virtuous woman, but I'm still a woman. Okay. Y'all just don't see everything because y'all are supposed to. That's what being a virtuous woman is about. You know, back in the Bible times, they didn't they didn't say sex with your sex at all. You heard no. <laughs> they did not know. <laughs> mm. But you already know. That's what they said. That's what they used to say back in the day. That's what they used to say back in the Bible time. Mm -hmm. They don't talk about all that. You leave a lot to the imagination. Like how you're a candy, you say those relations and stuff don't be on camera. We don't. We have fun on camera. We love each other. We're very playful. Louisville, what up? But as far as relations, you keep that off the camera. You keep that in your bedroom. And that's me. That's me. I ain't speaking for nobody, so don't nobody come for me now. I'm just saying me. We enjoy it. Um, you can do normal. That's fine. Nobody come for me now. Can the poop? Hey, yeah. Y'all know my mama. Shoot, my mama won't get that. She'll be like, girl, you take that video down and stop acting like you ain't got no seat. Like, I ain't raised you right. And she did. That's why she ain't never got to say it. <laughs> Shout out to King and Queen on the gift. Hey to y'all. Hey to the crew. Hey to everybody. Oh, and Tawana, I got your card. By the time you get this video, I've been in the world. We got your card. <laughs> and Frugal Mama in the Woods, I already done messaged you and told you we got your card. So I appreciate it. If anybody else sent us Christmas cards, I have not been back to my P.O. box yet. A few of you guys have my home address. A few of you guys don't. Um, you know, so, yeah. But um, I have not went back to the P.O. box yet. Because I know I did have a few people that said, hey, did you get your card? I haven't been back yet. Not yet. But I'm going to go check it tomorrow. Because like I said, today is Monday the 19th. I think, yeah, 19th. I need you to pause that and come get your clothes, homie. Thank you. <coughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Fella. What did you do? Lord, they just picking up and eat candy and they ain't even set yet. That's my <laughs> no, yeah, Jordan don't play now. Mm -hmm. Well, that's ours. It's yours. It's mama's. I gotta get those clothes out the dry. So I just put those in the washer. I'll be done by six. It's 4 30. I'm not worrying about it. It's still early enough. Uh -huh. 
Can you bring this to the back? Get up to mom. I bring mine. Like I said, this one here. Set perfectly. Oh, ow! Oh, oh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Yeah, this one here. Set perfectly. Well, I don't know if y'all can see it. Nothing was trying to roll away from it chocolate but like i said my hands are clean and i'm going to eat this piece as you guys see it's still really soft so oh, okay. what did i drop it at oh here you go it's soft it's not hard then he just did homeboy just say he ain't want none mm. I Now don't get them all and set them off. Oh, sir. I got my chocolate with my walnut and I got my vanilla. And like I said, tomorrow, tomorrow I'll make the one without it. And that's it. Right where you throw it. No. Don't, no, don't love you pumpkin me. Don't love you pumpkin me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Get your hand. Uh uh. Get your hand. Don't touch me. Get your hands off. Get away from me. He trying to choke me on the low. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why if y'all didn't catch that. His hand went right here. He know I ain't got no thyroid, so it just choked me. Don't close that one. Close him with that's what you do. and stuff Jordan yeah, cooked yesterday. Let me eat a piece of my candy before I ain't got none. I gotta say y'all, it's a little soft. Still here, thank the Lord. Every second, I thank Him. And so I can still experience that with her. And just I know she'd be tired and feel all the time when we're being kitchen. But to see her standing up and sit in the room, give me up. To see Mama sit down and eat the candy, and then I be thinking about my grandma and stuff. And when you taste that vanilla and that sugar and butter, it just brings back those memories, you know. that you have with them and everything that they taught you and shared is um you, you will never get those moments back but nothing can take away from them moments that's why i tell my kids all the time every holiday if y'all out of town 
and y'all, you know, y'all moving, y'all out of town and having y'all own family stuff, I get it. But always make a dish that y'all used to make with your grandma. Y'all remember making with your great grandma, me, or your siblings. And then teach that to your kids. So they will always have that to pass down. And I tell them that all the time. So it's like now, even if they're house to house for holidays, when we get together for Thanksgiving and Christmas, those are the only two holidays that when we get together, it's always like, you didn't make candy this year? Or they ask the mama, you didn't make potato salad? Or you didn't do this? And even though she done taught us how to make her salad, she done taught us how to make her gumbo, everything that my mama cooked, she taught us how to make. It's nothing like her doing it. Like, T say, grandma's hands. It's nothing like your mama or grandmother doing it. That's just like they'll tell me, mom, we, we can make this, but we like when you make it. And it's not that they don't put love in it. It's just that flavor, that memory. You always going to do one thing extra or add one thing extra that you will never tell them. And they just have to either watch or find out from that spirit of you. You know what I'm saying? If that makes any sense. Because they may never tell you add a pinch of cinnamon or add a pinch of salt or add a pinch of this or add a pinch of filet or add a pinch of this. They may never tell you that, but if you're paying attention and you see them doing it, or if you're in that kitchen and over time you can taste the flavors, you will know like this what it was they added. And then, like I said, even when I'm cooking, I'll share a lot of stuff with you guys, but it's always something I do off screen that y'all will never see. Even with my candy, it's that one thing that I never share about my recipe. The basic recipe on how to make it is always there. But that one thing that my grandmother either taught me, showed me, or I seen her do, I'll never share on camera. Because like like our brother was saying, a lot of things just have to stay in the family. Because um, even if somebody try to take your recipe or whatever, because we share it. So it's not about stealing it, but even if we share it, but sometimes people want to take their stuff and make it their own, it's always going to be that one thing that's missing. Um, no matter what it is, whether it's bread pudding, red beans, chicken, it's always something. Um, so it's not that I'm hiding anything for y'all, but it's always going to be that one thing that I'm not going to share. Um, you know, I thank y'all for hanging out with me in the kitchen. All I'm going to do when I get out the shower is finish my clothes and put my candy up. But I love y'all so much. Again, thank y'all for hanging with us, being a part of our family. Y'all are listen to us we love you guys if y'all do not see me for the rest of this year i pray y'all have an amazing blessed safe spiritual heartfelt christmas and an equally blessed new year with y'all family and you have a tall sun that's almost hold on child i'm I'm just closing up my feet y'all can i help no wait but for everybody who won't come back we love y'all y'all ready Bye-bye. <laughs> Later, y'all. Oh, it's Christmas time. Let us all come together. Something